Hey there drone fans, Hover just released some new firmware for the Hover Air X1 Pro and Pro Max drones that introduces some pretty incredible features. Now they actually released the firmware back in January, but they're slowly rolling it out to their user base, so keep an eye on the application for a firmware update notice and make sure you download the new firmware. Once you do, the firmware on the drone will be version 7.7.5, and the version on the application, which has to be updated as well, will be 2.24.0. There's also an update if you're using the beacon. I like this an awful lot. And the firmware on the beacon is gonna be 1.6.2. Now the new firmware fixes a few things, but it introduces a couple of new flight modes, one of which is my absolute favorite, and it's dolly zoom. Now if you've never seen a dolly zoom, it's sort of that effect that Alfred Hitchcock pioneered back in the days of vertigo and rear window, where the drone flies away from you or towards you while it's actually zooming in and out. So it's reversing the direction of the drone with the direction of the zoom. And it creates this incredible vertigo effect behind you. It shifts the entire landscape behind you either in close or further away from you. And it's really unsettling, but I love it an awful lot. Now, I'm out here at the lake. There were a couple of geese that just flew by and almost winged me. So I don't know how it's gonna work out, but I'll do a couple of examples down here. And then I'll drive to a couple other spots near me and do a couple more examples. Now, there are other features in this firmware that I'm sure you'll appreciate as well. There's an indoor follow mode that's been improved. There's a cycling mode that's been improved. There's the ski mode that's been improved. So I'll test all those as well, but I wanted to put this clip together quickly because I love a dolly zoom. <laughs> I think it's one of the coolest effects you can do with a drone. And I know other drones can do it and you can do it manually, but to have a drone like this where I can push one button and have it automatically do that dolly zoom in an environment like this, I think is just incredible. So stay tuned and I'll show you what that looks like next. This first shot has the drone at 6.6 .6 feet with a 4X zoom. It's flying away from me and I'm pulling into the zoom and now it's flying back towards me and it's pulling back on the zoom. That background is incredibly unsettling when it shifts like that. This is a better one. I found that when you have a lot of things behind you, it really gives you a dramatic effect. Here it is flying back towards me. Now in the next shot, I've shortened the distance to 2.6 feet and I'm standing pretty close to those trees and I've got a 3x zoom on that. Here it is flying back towards me. And again, this effect is so incredibly cool. All right, tell me that's not a cool effect. Now just imagine building that into your next video. And the best part is the firmware has the hover do that automatically. So essentially I turn the drone on, I select that, I make a couple of adjustments either through the application or directly on the hover. I hit a button, it flies away from me, it does the dolly zoom, and then it flies back into me and does the dolly zoom in reverse. So I've got that effect anywhere I need it by just opening up the hover, putting it up in the air and capturing that footage. I think it's absolutely incredible. And I know I can do that on a lot of other drones and I do occasionally, but to have it happen automatically like that, it's just awesome. So that's all I had for today. I hope you found this review helpful. I've got a lot more content coming on the Hover Pro and Pro Max. So if you're interested in the drone, stay tuned and I'll cover some more of the features in that firmware very soon. But man, I am really enjoying flying this drone. So thanks a lot for watching. And until next time, as always, <laughs> happy flying.